Hey there everyone, this is Parking Team Shockwave and today I'll be doing another tips and tricks episode based on Cyber Dragon Infinity. This is one of the top cards that people were looking for during the sneak peek and hopefully by the end of this video you guys have a better understanding of why people were looking for this card and what it can do with the upcoming format. So other than that, let's get started with this video. Alright guys, so let's start the combo off with the most basic concept of what this card was meant for before every other deck take advantage of it. Uh, so first, special summon your Cyber Dragon. No one summon your Dre. Dre will use the effect to change all Machine Time monsters uh, to level 5. Uh, this way you can overlay these two for your Nova. And then into your infinity uh infinity at this point if you use this method will have 2700 attacks and um <clears throat> that's pretty much it and this is basically the core concept of what uh infinity was meant for with the new archetype dino mist uh first i'm going to special summon the dino mist brachion uh this is basically the cyber dragon version of the deck and it requirements a little bit different from cyber dragon because even though you might have monsters you can still special summon if your opponents control the highest attacking monster uh, so uh, from there you can just special summon your triceratops and as you can see this card can special summon itself if all your monster is dynamis monster and you don't control a triceratops already on the field uh, from this point you're just gonna overlay it to get your nova and then again to your infinity uh, what make this Archetype so interesting compared to Cyber Dragon that it utilized the pendulum mechanics. So uh, you can just set up your scales and don't really have to focus on like uh, what your opponents have on the field to actually uh, special summon your big monster. You can just do it on the fly on the very first turn if you can. So this is a very good play right here. And now we're gonna just move on to the next uh, tips. All right, guys. So this next tip can be done by any deck can spam out rank four monsters. So in this case, I'm gonna play my heroes because I love the deck so much. But any decks like the Southern Knight or Pepe can uh, actually um, do this as well. So first, you can summon your Goblinberg, activate the effect to special summon your Shadow Mist. You can activate Shadow Mist effect if you want to to search for the mass change card and then you can special summon cards like Bowman Man to the field or lay these three for your Tele Knight Palamaeus. Uh, this is a card that allows you to attach three materials off of it so you can actually uh, overlay a rank 5 monster on it and the best card you can do this is to your Nova and this way you can get your infinity out easily. Uh, let's detach these three materials off and but in this console right here uh, compared to the other two I showed you before this allows you to have your monster 2500 attack instead of the regular 27 when you start but hopefully uh, your opponent did leave attack within the monster for you to actually take over and add more materials on it to it uh, so you can add more, more attack and more ways to uh, stop your opponent's uh, key plays. Alright guys, so this next tip has been recommended by our good friend and teammate Guillermo. He's the guy that did that spot uh, a while back ago and he will do an update of the deck profile uh, once he comes back from his trip. Uh, now, uh, he recommends that you, there's another way you can do this with deck spot alone. So first, you can just summon your deck spot 4. Uh, use deck spot 4 by attacking, sending your deck spot 1 to the grave. Uh, this way, um, you're just sending up to get out your level 5 synchro play and if you're able to destroy the monster with death spots from 4 you're able to special summon 2 machine type monster or desktop monsters uh, with different levels from your hand or graveyard uh, to the field so you can special summon cards like uh, your death spots 5 and then the one that you send to the graveyard uh, to the field as well in defense mode this way you can just synchro summon into your alley cataster and then overlay these two for your nova and then to your affinity very fun tip uh, for a deck that usually don't uh, really exceed or synchro summon into anything just because of um, they're stronger in numbers instead of um, uh, going to something a little more different so that's pretty much it all right guys that's pretty much my time with this video as you can see this card does bring a lot of versatility into various decks 
As I mentioned before, this is one of the sought after cards in my sneak peek alongside with Solemn Strike and Performer Power Sorcerer. This card is currently worth $70 as of now, but it did lose value at the beginning of this weekend. So we'll see if it actually will increase or decrease through various regionals and the YCS Atlanta, Georgia coming up at the beginning of February. So that's pretty much my time with this video. If you guys liked what you saw, please like, comment, and subscribe. This is Parker Shockwave signing out.